In this video, we are going to discuss about non-default native VLAN. So what is this non-default native VLAN and which mode it comes under? If you see, this no default native VLAN is in trunk mode and you see another set of native VLAN cl classification of service and transport virtual fabrics is available in trunk mode without the implicit creation of default VLAN. So normally every 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 time when you configure we have a default VLAN here but this is an another set of a native LAN classification for service and transport virtual fabrics it is available only in the trunk mode without having the classification or creation of a default VLAN here and also the purpose of this trunk mode is to provide flexibility that is available in default VLAN trunk mode and also to do the following things here. So the following things are providing a raw layer 2 switch port with no VLAN configuration and allow native VLAN configuration when it is needed and also the third one is allow the mapping of native VLAN to a service or a transport virtual fabrics here. So these are the purpose of this VLAN in the trunk mode. So coming if you see the trunk mode differs from default VLAN trunk and how it, dif how it can be differentiated with the default VLAN mode you see the default VLAN 1 is not implicitly created in this mode. So in this trunk mode default VLAN trunk mode the VLAN 1 is not implicitly created so that native VLAN commands that are applicable in default VLAN trunk mode are not supported in this mode. So in this mode the not supported service is native VLAN commands are not supported in the default VLAN trunk mode and also native VLAN commands that are applicable in the in this mode are not supported in default VLAN trunk mode. So native VLAN commands which are also supported here in the in this mode about the known VLAN trunk mode is not supported in the default VLAN trunk mode here. So coming if you see the different behaviors or different mode behaviors of this VLAN here the user must be aware of the following. So you should be aware of the following things are a port in a default VLAN trunk mode cannot use the new classifications. So if the port which is in the default VLAN trunk mode cannot use the new classifications which are configured and also for example if you take here AMPP profile port operates in a default VLAN trunk mode and therefore the new classifications are not accepted here. So when a port is configured in this mode there is no assumption that VLAN 1 exists. So when a port is configured in this default VLAN trunk mode then that does not mean that the assumption of VLAN, VLAN 1 exists here and also the default VLAN must be configured explicitly for example if you take that PVST VLAN 1 should be enabled on the interface to configure this VLAN in the configuration in this mode clearly that means if you want to create a default VLAN here then the port should be in the PVST VLAN 1 and it should be enabled under this configuration and this is about the non-default native VLAN and how this mode is differentiated between the default VLAN trunk mode here. 